There's a lot of work to do. I've been trying to come up with a plan of action here. Plan of, plan of action here. Something just blew over in the driveway. It's incredibly windy and cold. Great day for being outside and filming videos. I'm using a different mic so hopefully the wind won't be too bad. I've already organized a lot of what's out here into trash, recycling, donate, keep. Keep is what, I mean, you pretty much already, like, you know, like, keep. I'm not gonna get rid of this. End goal is everything has to be off the patio. Nothing can be here. Nothing can be on the surface of this patio once I'm done, except for the dolphins. Great camera work there. Those can stay. Everything else has to be off. The whole surface has to be able to be cleared and cleaned, so that means getting everything off of here. And uh, I guess the last thing I'll do would probably be to take a shovel and broom and get everything scooped up into the edges of the garden beds. What would probably make the most sense would be work on the stuff that needs to be moved, get that off the surface of the patio, and then the last thing that I will do will be the like trash recycling donation, that stuff, the pile over there. And I have several piles, just naturally made piles from wind, a lot of just to breathe. There are a few areas where those things have been settling out here, so that should be fairly easy to pick up, I think. A lot of it's just like garbage from their construction crew up there, but there's plenty of stuff down here. It's just pots, and you'll see most of it as I go through. I don't know when they're coming. That's been an issue. Hey, Tobes, why don't you come inside? We're going to go over here after leave the gate open, because I got to move stuff. Come on. Come on, Tobes. I got more talking to do, but I need to put you inside. Let's go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. We're going to go inside. So I don't have any Labrador speed bumps out here while I'm moving the big heavy stuff around. Can you do it, Tobes? Come on, come on, Toby. Let's go, come on, come on, Tobes. There we go. Good boy, good boy, Tobes, good boy. Okay, you guys good? You're good. I feel so bad leaving them in the house, but I like, can just be running into them if they're out here. They like to stand right in front of the dolly and in front of me when I'm doing things out here. Moving stuff's not a big deal. Shouldn't take that long. The only issue I really have is the when. I don't know when they're coming. They said end of week, and I don't, what the heck does that mean? I would assume that that means Thursday or Friday. Today is Tuesday, but I have no idea. I've been trying to get in touch with them to be like, hey, I actually need a date because this isn't the kind of thing where you can just show up and everything's ready to go. I got a lot of work I have to do. And uh, these bigger planters, I'm thinking those are going to need to go in the driveway. I want these on a nice level surface. It's spring, it's very windy. And if these were to fall and break, it's a big problem. I already have one that's broken that I'm afraid to move. It's been glued back together, which has been fine. Since I've been moving it, you can't see it. It's around the corner. It doesn't matter. But if one of these were to break to a point that I can't put it back together, like it's just too many pieces or it's not going to be structurally sound when it's glued back together, then I have to get four new pots to go around the pool. And these things, they're not cheap anymore. They never were cheap, but these are about three times now what they cost when I got them. So that would be very bad. Sort of a double-edged sword there, right, though? Because the further I move them, the more risk there is of them breaking. But if I were to just try and scoot them, like, I don't, I feel like they're too big to just put into this drainage path over here. I'm thinking there will be plenty of pottery that I'm just going to scoot into this drainage path. But that looks, I don't know, it looks like it's too big. I could give that a shot. But then I go back to the other issue of stability. Ground over there isn't all that stable, although these are really heavy, so the odds of blowing over is great. I'm thinking out loud here. This is part of it, sorry. I'll get to that once time to get to that. I'm gonna save the biggest things for last, like the glider, the table, maybe the four pots around the pool. Those may need to wait just another day because I'm gonna have somebody come over and help me with the table and with the glider. I can move them myself, but I know that it would be smart to have someone help me because for me to move them myself means I have to drag them. I think it would be better for the furniture to have somebody on each end moving it instead of dragging them so that, you know, so I don't break stuff. I don't like asking for help, but I think it's the smart thing to do so that I don't end up breaking any of the furniture, just weakening it. You know, when you pull on something, it just you know, it has a bad effect. It doesn't sound good. I've moved this thing around plenty on my own. It doesn't sound right. It sounds like I'm doing bad things when I do it by myself. So I'm going to wait for help with that. Then I'm wondering if maybe I should, since I'm going to have somebody coming over, just wait to move these four pots. That way I'd have a spotter. Not that they could, like, save these if they were to tilt off of the dolly. These are really big. I know they don't necessarily look like it, but none of these fit very well on the cart. And that's a nice cart that I have. It's not one of the nicest ones. You know, the really nice ones for moving big objects cost, you know, nearly $1,000. Some of them well over $1,000. But the one I have, it's pretty good. I can move some big stuff, but it's all about the angle of the pot as to what'll fit. 
And uh, I don't know, I just haven't moved these very much. That was never the intention. The point was to get big heavy pots, set them there, and just kind of scoot them from here to there, depending on whether or not there's a cover on the pool. Maybe you just have to wait and see how ambitious I'm feeling. Can give that some time. All right, that's enough talk. Getting the ball rolling. Should probably start from this end and do like everything on this half of the patio, say from the dolphins and over, and then handle everything on this half of the patio tomorrow. Time-wise, just makes sense to split things up because I have things I need to do in the afternoon, in the evening tonight, and in the afternoon, evening tomorrow. So that's the way that's going to have to work. Hopefully they don't come tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so that wouldn't, that's not the end of the week. I don't know because they don't return my calls and I don't know when they're coming. Hopefully I'll find out sometime today. I like how when the pool company came, they said, we're going to wait to put these things in, which I don't really need them to put those in. I can do it myself. But they said they need to wait till <laughs> the patio's been stained, which makes sense. And then they went ahead and dumped 400 pounds of salt on the patio that I have to move now. It's fine. Opportunity for a workout. Not a big deal. However, with all this wind, that might come in nifty. Help hold the car cover down. This thing keeps blowing off. It's strapped down. The straps can't go any tighter, but the wind that's strong keeps picking it up and pulling it off. Easy enough. That's all been moved. Dog toys? I think those will wait, right? Because that's, that seems like a day of sort of project. The dogs are going to keep playing until they get here. Saved a couple bags because well, I need to put it in the pool. I haven't put it all in there because you have to wait for the water to warm up. It's still not quite warm enough to do that. The Japanese maple. Huh. I had that in here last year. And I really liked how it looked, but when it got really cold I had to pull it out and move it which wasn't a big deal I would only want to keep that containerized for one more year otherwise I was thinking like right over here somewhere in this area would be a good spot for it but for now yeah I guess for now I'll just put it back in that pot that should be fine yeah I like that there I know it's not much to look at yet because it still needs to flush out but I think that's a good spot for it it works out well in this spot because it gets really good sun to flush out with nice red foliage in the spring and then in the summer it's fairly well shaded not that it necessarily needs it the whole point there is just it gets enough light to stay nice and red looks good over there and i really like it in that pot just wish it was a little bit more cold hardy <sighs> okay these i don't i have no idea what to do with these they're pots that i've had for a long time and i don't really want to get rid of but i also don't really have a use for them they take up a lot of space just move them for now that is a very old frisbee do I move these to the driveway or do I stuck them under the arbs? Under the arbs. That's the way to go. Chase lounges, all that's left. Well, <laughs> that's not true. There's all kinds of stuff left to do, at least for the spot. Things are clearing up pretty quickly. Chase lounges, Shay, Chase, I don't care how you say it. Get them with wheels. Makes life so much easier. Go ahead and fold back. You good? You good? Okay, all good. Huh. Found a hose. Don't know where that came. Oh, no, I do. That's from last fall. It's constantly draining the pool with the new liner and everything. I guess that got trapped under there. It's a chaos getting everything back together after they put the liner in. I can go right there. I think this goes here inside the pool. That'll have to wait. I'm not getting in there. The water's only 70 degrees. I'm not getting in. Okay, just a couple more pots, a tarp. And this area is done. I mean, obviously there's leaves and things, but the big stuff's done. Look at that. Nice and not clean, but clear. I figure I should probably blow as I go. Wind knocking everything in the pool. So I'm gonna blow this area out, get everything back into the lawn where it belongs, and then, uh, then what? I guess everything over here. Maybe these, it's starting to bug me. I wanna move these. I know I was just talking about not moving them, but I think I wanna do it. Yeah, looking good. You like how I cut back from an angle that I hadn't shown before, so there's really nothing to compare it to? <laughs> you get the point. Things are open. This, uh, what I should do is this spot right here, which really, I don't, this isn't gonna be filmed more, I'm just gonna scoot them back. I'm thinking it would probably be smart of me to come in here and rake out all the leaves that have collected behind everything, because once the stain is down and the sealer stuff on the surface of the patio the leaves could fall on there and make a stamp leave an impression which i don't mind that can look kind of cool but there's a lot of leaves here i don't know if this is the smartest time i assume the other way 
Probably not the best time to do that though. That's probably more of a finishing touch thing to do. Right back in the pool with all those leads I just pulled out. Okay, these two. It's just, it's more like it's gonna bug me until it's done. <laughs> I also don't really want them in the driveway any longer than they have to be. So, I don't, know, I, I don't have to, but I really want to. I'm wondering what I should do with these gingers over there by the dolphins. Plan had been, if the patio weren't being stained, the plan was to just go over there with a shovel, dig out the old gingers, put a new gingers, and scoot them back to where they're supposed to be, right up against the edge of the dolphins there. But that's not going to work. I could just pick them up and set them on the wall. Although I really, maybe since I'm doing all this, I might just, yeah. What I was saying when I just stopped recording mid-sentence was I was thinking I could just pick them up, move them over there into the landscape so that's a good spot to dump them, get them cleaned out. But also, why would I do that when I can just scoot them over right here? I mean, there's a whole entire getting things done that you need to get done, but there's a time and a place for that. This isn't it. There's still a lot of work to be done, and I'm only halfway through. Which I actually feel pretty good about. Doesn't this look better? That looks nice, right? Getting everything off the patio. This isn't still bothering me. Nope, not at all. I can, those can stay there, it's fine. May as well see, just see how heavy they are. We can probably do it. Just, see the problem, <laughs> it's really heavy. I've got all my body weight on this thing for leverage. Yeah, that's not, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Given this everything I got. If my body weight and my arms don't have to pull that over, then it would be smart to wait for the person who's gonna help me so they can push while I pull. So I guess, okay. Day one's done. Halfway through, tomorrow, it's uh, there's, what's gonna be intense. Yeah, it's so fresh and so clean. Love seeing it. It's been a couple days. Water is very salty. It takes it a while to process that salt. Things have to warm up. And then there's this side of the patio that I need to do. This is probably gonna be more work. <laughs> Starting to clear up again. I don't even know, did I get it on film when it was murky probably not it's been a few days some things have happened so i got in touch with the people who are supposed to do the staining of the patio and they said oh never mind not going to come out this week we'll come out next week so it is now next week that gave me a couple days to get some other things done that i needed to get done it's sunday still have no idea when they're coming it's just sometime this week so in the same position i was in before i think the best thing to do is just get it done though right to go ahead and clear off everything over here and be done with it. Whenever they show up, they show up. The only issue with that is I do need help with those big pots around the pool, the table, and the glider. I can move the table and the glider myself. I just feel like I might damage them doing it myself. I figure it'd be better to lift it and move it than to drag it with as one person, right? So should probably wait for another person. Yes, there are plants. Plants have been rolling in too. That just showed up. I'm, I don't I don't know when that video will come out. Probably before this one. And that's all fine and dandy. What I need to focus on that was just taking care of this. It's mostly a lot of little pots. And then the plants. The plants, I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Moving those. I mean, for the most part, I can pick a lot of that stuff up and just set it on the hot tub wall. If need be. It's all the little stuff. There's a lot of little stuff out there. Especially my recycling <laughs> and reuse pile down here of plastic pots and trays and like half empty bags of potting mix, all that stuff. That's going to be a problem. I'm filming all this from up here because I feel like there'd be a better view of everything when it's done from up high. This is, that's as high as I can go. I have a drone, but not a lot to use it. Don't have a drone operator's license. If you don't have a drone operator's license, you can't use drone footage on a monetized platform. They'll get you for it too. They go after people. So the drone is just a toy at this point. But this is, that's pretty good, right? Look at that. That's not a bad shot. You don't get to see the whole patio. But I'll be sure to get another shot of this once everything's cleared off and then get to see what it looks like with the new stain on it. I have no idea at this point if this is going to be something where I can put everything back on at the same time. Maybe if they come out on Tuesday or Wednesday, then that'll give it a few days to dry. But I think last time this is done, the stain was put down, and then a few days later I had to seal it. So I don't, I don't know. Hopefully at least by the end of the video the patio will be a different color. <laughs> Great weather to be filming a video. That's sarcasm. Pure sarcasm. Very windy and very chilly. Look at all these pots that got blown over. I swear, I had these organized. I think I've talked about this a few times. I don't think I really need to dive back into that. I'm going to get this all cleaned up. I need to clear out this whole area. This is the, <laughs> the tortoise 
playpen during the summer. And I think it's where the table and chairs are going to have to go for a few days anyways. I don't really know where else to put it. And then I think all the plants, like there are a bunch of little plants. These guys, the yuccas, a bunch of stuff around the hot tub. I think that's just going to probably go up here on the wall. Yeah, it's got to be up and out of the way. Okay, and then once I have all the plants moved, then I'll get all the pottery moved, and that'll be a lot of stuff off from over here. And then my recycling pile. I'll combine that up with the pots that got blown over here. Get those pots organized, find a new spot for all that stuff. I have that cabinet back there that is broken. I think it melted. It just, it won't go back together. It's why all the stuff is on top of it. The door won't shut. The shelves on the inside collapse. So I, I, I don't know what to do with that, but it's gotta go. And then the wind keeps blowing over this arb that was starting to show some life again. So I started to cut back part of it and then it browned up in another spot. So I, I don't know. I don't really know what to do with that. Should I go ahead and keep cutting it back and get it situated someplace where it'll get lots of water? I don't, I mean, it just, it looks like crap. I'd rather just get rid of it but it still has a chance that I won't do that and then over here the storm blew over a whole bunch of stuff knocked over the shower the fan watering I mean, the watering can doesn't belong out here but you get it it's all gotta go I'm gonna have to find a spot in the basement for that the basement's currently full of construction stuff or things from the main level of the home but moved downstairs to make room for the construction remodeling stuff that's been going on in the house that's why that's still out here and honest, it would probably still be out here regardless. I look back at videos from last year. This thing was out here till like mid-April. I just enjoy having it outside. It looks really fun at nighttime. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure something out. I'm going to start moving stuff and I don't know, pick up at some point. Hopefully something will be done over here. Oh, you get poked? He got poked by the roses. I have a bunch of dormant roses over there. Sorry, Turbs. My bad. Well, not really my bad. I think he knows well enough by now to stay away from the roses and not go stick in his face in them. He's been pricked plenty of times. All right, I think I've hit the point where I just gotta pick stuff up and move it. And eventually, there will be nothing left out here. Hopefully. That's the plan, anyways. Last one. Get that in here. Should be enough room. Make it fit. There we go. Yeah, I lost patience. I couldn't focus with the table sitting there. It was in my way. That looks better, doesn't it? Huge improvement. Over here is mostly picked up. Still a few things to go. Gravel and hardscape stuff for the tanks and planters out here. The foot thing weighs a ton. I'll probably end up just scooting the foot over there. And then uh, next up, I've this. All this stuff, which actually I don't think will be that bad. Yeah, look at that. Not bad. Messy, but like, that's kind of the point. Gonna have a pretty messy before and... Hopefully a very clean and close to immaculate after. Hard to say. Moved the mule palm back where it goes. That's where it was last year. Popped a little windmill up there who just barely made it through winter. It was outside most of the winter. So it has some, well, not dieback. Already cut the dieback off it. It's starting to regrow and rebound from what was a really rough winter on it. That's, that's what I was trying to say there. Got the pottery moved up here carefully arranged it so nothing's going to get stuck to each other. I wish I had cardboard because if I had cardboard then it's a good thing to use to lay in between the pots but I don't so this is just what I had to do. I think it's fine. This should be okay like this. They kept everything at a pretty steep angle so they're not like suctioned into each other. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? And then all of the plants that I said I was probably going to put up on the hot tub wall I decided to mostly put those over here because it's going to be easier to water them over here. I'm not going to be able to drag a hose across this patio, from at least not for like a day or two after it's stained and then maybe another day or two after it's sealed. I don't really know. So I put them over here up against the house just because there's a hose right here that I won't have to drag out across the patio to keep these watered. Holly, viburnum, yuccas need some pruning, soft serve, cypress. Yeah, lots of progress. Not too bad. That only took like 40 minutes, if even. The, no, definitely. It was actually more like an hour, but... <laughs> That's what I meant by if even. Yeah, it's over 40 minutes. Still, not bad though. And I actually, I think I'm going to wait and come back to this in a couple of hours because the sun's really driving me crazy. And I don't feel like putting on more sunscreen and the wind keeps blowing my sun hat off. So I'm going to wrap it up for just another hour or two. Oh, are you tired? Tell me about it, Turbo. This thing's not in as bad a shape as I thought it was. It's, it's just, it's warped. So it's not closing right, and the shelf on the inside is 
warp too. Oh, the top's pretty gross. I think I could clean that off and paint it. I was thinking I was going to toss this thing, but you know, probably still has a few years left and it just need to scrub it, I guess. Give it a good scrub and just deal with the warped shelving. Don't put anything heavy in it. I don't know. Making progress. Look at that. So much is going. Stupid foot still there. Not that much further to go. It's been about three and a half hours. It's taken a lot longer than I thought it would. Just, there was a lot to organize and go through to make sure that things weren't just being piled up in random places. I don't like that. I really want to be sure that whatever stays out here is stuff that I want to keep and purge whatever is old or falling apart. Get things sorted in the driveway into their proper donation recycle trash piles. And I handle this corner, which is going to be tricky because the roots of this maple tree have grown over like underneath this bunch of gunk there. There's these tiny little roots that have formed a mat. So I'm probably going to have to use a blade to get that out and get that to the driveway and then handle that area and be done. Well, I guess not really. I need to go through and edge everything out, but I'll be done for today. That is enough. I've done enough today. Look at that. I know, it's still dirty. That's the point of this entire video. Dirt and then clean up and then things looking all fresh and all new. I'm done. <laughs> done for today. This might be the last time I even pick up the camera before coming out and doing a before and then after. I still have no idea when they're coming, but tomorrow, Monday, it's supposed to storm, so they won't be here then, which is good because I still have a good amount of cleanup to do out here. And if they show up on Tuesday, then I might just have to say, hey, too bad, go away, come back, because I don't have an open door policy here. If it's going to be storming all day tomorrow, then I'm not going to be out here doing any work. And I still got to get all this irrigation stuff. I mean, look at all this. I have to get that sorted out. And by sorted out, I mean I'm cutting all my drip lines. I think I'm just going to start all over again. I've been thinking about doing that for a few years. So why not just do it now? I had to cut all the lines in order to get them cleared off the patio over there. And I think what I'll end up doing, <laughs> this is not the point of this video, but I, it doesn't matter. It's a vlog. I'll keep explaining. All this irrigation right here is run from a hose that goes down and around the side of the house. So water pressure from that spigot is really good. Water pressure for pressure, water pressure from the spigot over here sucks. That's why I have the two different hoses out here. The only problem is this one inch hose doesn't have a hose reel. I think I'm just done with the one inch hose. It's starting to get that hard plasticky feeling to it. It's probably going to crack soon. So I'm probably going to end up doing, I'll be revisiting all this when I actually do it. It's not happening right now. It's not happening this week. I got enough going on. But sometime between now and, I don't know, mid-May, run a whole new line, like actually trench it out around the house, bring it up into in between these needle palms. I would rather have something planted there, but it's a pretty good spot, I suppose, to also tuck a hose reel in there. I, that's the only thing I can think of to get the irrigation up and off the patio. I already have some of the parts to do it, so it's something I've wanted to do for a long time, just not all of the parts and pieces that I need. So doing that, I think, will it'll be nice having that stuff up and off the patio, but I will have to reroute the drip system, which, like I said, really needs to be done anyways. It's been the same system for probably... I don't know, eight to ten years at this point. It's just full of goof plugs and I'm constantly having to cut it and repair it because the plastic's starting to wear out on it. And I'm, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stuff I can talk about when it's time to upgrade that. This is not the time. This I need help with. It's not that it's heavy. It's that when I pull it, it just feels like it's going to fall apart. So that's going to have to wait until my brother-in-law comes over. He's going to come over at some point. Tomorrow would be ideal, but it's just a storm all day. So I don't know. I'm just going to watch the weather get that moved off the patio to, I don't know, probably stick it in the lawn over there somewhere. And then one, two, three big pots left over here. And then these three right here, which I'm going to try and get over here into this gutter. <laughs> it's not a gutter. It's a drainage dish. That's just dish. It's been a long day, y'all. It's a drainage ditch that's full of gravel that is currently covered in leaves. So I will get all this stuff that has been, I guess, just accumulating back here. I had the glider here, so I just didn't realize there was stuff back here. Get that cleaned up, rake the leaves out, take these pots, bring them over here, tuck them against the wall, and that'll be it. That will be completely bare and ready to be power washed, cleaned, and refreshed.
Yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna be cutting back until I've probably until it's done, or maybe I'll walk. I mean, I don't know. Who knows what's gonna happen? But I'm done for now. Toby's ready to go inside. You done, Toby? You done? He's like, yeah, I've been out here all day. I'm a house dog. You let me inside. All right. It's been a couple of days. This is not the appropriate way to be doing this. I should have some kind of smooth screen going, something blacked out with some text that says, "Here's how much time has passed. Are you ready for before and after?" But I think the hand works good enough. You ready to see? Things look pretty different out here. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. So freaking clean and smooth and you can actually see all the lines that were put in when the pool was made. They went to a lot of effort when the pool was built to try and make all these drainage lines look nice. Because there had to be a lot because of all the homes and the water flowing this way and needing to be able to be collected over here and over there. That's a whole thing. Don't need to talk about the draining engineering but just look it's so nice so fresh the color is called kalua cream and it is lighter than i anticipated when i talked to the pool company they told me that it would be darker than the coping around the pool and uh, that is not the case it's not darker than the coping around the pool but they also said that it's going to darken up over time have to give that some time and see what happens with that I just can't get over how fresh this all feels. The patio looks so big, doesn't it? It looks huge, partially because, you know, there's not junk all over it. I mean, just rewind back to the beginning of the video and seeing how much mess there was. That was partially just a winter has just ended thing and uh, years of other things accumulating situation. Now I've got much more of a big reset going on over here. Yeah, things are still a mess over there. I, I haven't put everything back yet. That's going to take some time. have to wait, uh, I think they still like three or four days before doing much out here. I'm supposed to keep it dry for 24 hours, and it's almost been 24 hours. Turbo's been very good about staying out of the pool. There are a few things that I could see potentially being an issue, like that's from where Turbo dropped one of his toys earlier. You have us talking about you, Turbo. Yeah, right there. There's just a smudge. Every little bit of dirt is showing on this. That's going to be a problem. But the seal on this is really nice. This is different from what it was before. Before it was a stain that had a sealer over it. That had to be redone every several years. This time, I think 10 or 12 had passed, something like that. I can't remember. Those things got put on the back burner from 2020 and on because you know, there was a lot of stuff going on the last few years and then got the liner replaced and this was the next step to getting things looking fresh out here again. Y'all have never seen it like this before. Basically brand new. Table Rosa, yeah, Latin, like it? Clean. As it was being put down, I was having some moments of panic because I was watching and seeing the difference between what it was versus what's going on. It has darkened up some in just the 24 hours and instead I'll keep doing that for a few days. I already talked about that. I was talking about the coating. This is more of an epoxy type paint that goes over everything. It's supposed to have a cooling effect. They really pushed this color on me. I didn't really go through samples or anything. They just said, we got to do the Kahlua cream out here. It'll look really good. And I was just like, okay, sure. Yeah, whatever. As long as it's clean and fresh and it's going to be durable, I don't really care. And they were touting about some of their other big deal clients. And that's like what everybody uses. Oh, this is what all the athletes use and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I really, I don't care about that. That makes no difference to me. But I understand their point of that it's popular and durable. It's cool. It's grown on me. It was a drastic change. It's supposed to be cooling. Like it reflects a certain light ray that's supposed to cool things in the area. I, I don't really understand. I know that there are some paint technologies that do that. I don't know if I buy that this is one of those, but that would be nice. Because that was one of the issues with the darker color that was out here before was that it got hot really 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 hot to the point where sometimes plants were cooking from the heat reflecting back on them the only downside i can see to this color two downsides one shows everything every little leaf bit of dirt all that that's gonna drive me nuts the other one is that when the sun is directly on it as of now when it hasn't fully darkened out they said it could take a few weeks it is blinding, like burn your eyes out, blinding. <laughs> they said that that's going to get better. Another thing that I do like is that the water goes from, you know, water in the blue to this deeper tone, kind of like a wet sand to looking like a dry sand. It's the first thing I noticed when I was coming out of the house, I'll show you. Come over here, you can see what I'm talking about. 
coming out the door that does look a lot like sand with lions and dolphins and of course labradors in it but you get you understand the point right very coastal very fresh i love it i think it looks so good i am so freaking happy and stoked that this is done it's really throwing off my sense of time also like in my mind it's summer because the pool's all set up the water's cleared up chemistry's balanced all the drainage and ditching is done which is something you usually don't get around to until like late april or may almost all the leaves that are in the drainage areas are cleaned up there's still a pile right there and then there's some more over here that i need to get rid of but for the most part i am so incredibly far ahead and behind in some ways it's really throwing me off i don't feel like it's march it's march when i'm filming this last part and uh, so much for him being really good about staying out of the pool. He knew he wasn't supposed to do that. It's probably fine. We're close to the 24-hour mark, they said, to keep it dry. Guess this will give us a chance to see what it looks like when it's wet. Uh, look, that doesn't really darken up much when it's wet. Looks pretty much the same. Are you, are you having a good time? That can't feel good. Oh, ow. Why would you do that? This area over here, this is what really, I think, took the absolute longest because the garden bed i think i talked about this in the not a garden tour video but it had grown over this by like two feet nearly and i didn't even realize it, it was such a gradual process that's the next project i want to tackle out here is obviously getting all this irrigation stuff cleaned up that's going to be a whole thing of i don't even want to think about it right now it fries my brain i have to redo all the irrigation out here i basically dismantled all the drip and uh, I think it's time to just start over with that. It's the same system I've been running off of for like 10 years. You add to it, you subtract from it. There's lots of plugs in it, lots of couplers and repair spots in it. I'm gonna reroute all the irrigation to a spot further down over there and put in the posts so that the hose can drag around and re-slope this and plant this up and have it look nice. When you're coming out this door here, you have a nice garden bed here. This isn't how it's been, right? I just had to move things, so there's a lot of stuff just sitting here. <laughs> That's not how it always looked. And sadly, it's an improvement over how things looked just four or five days ago. I have a massive flagstone underneath that grill there. I think it would be nice to come in and maybe re-level things, put a few more flagstones in and make that more of a cooking area, maybe? I don't know. Just thinking out loud here, because we got a blank canvas. It's a lot easier to sit back and think about all the various possibilities, fun things you could do with it. I'm thinking about maybe doing a trellis built into the wall up here. That'd be fun. I'd want it to be the same color as the house. I wouldn't want to be able to see it, but that would be nice. Put some vines on there. The exterminator company will kill me if I do that. They're always raving about how don't let your plants touch the house, blah, blah, blah. It's how the bugs get them. Like, you, you, you've never seen a bug crawl up the side of a house before. I really don't think that having a few palm fronds and branches and things touching the side of the house is that's the culprit for how every single ant gets in the house. I don't think so. Yeah, okay, I'm sure it has something to do with it, but it's not the only way. I'll take some ants in the house if it means being able to have some beautiful vines growing up the sides. Over there, some mandevillas. I think that would be beautiful. This whole thing, it looks so good. So clean and open and fresh. Is it slippery? Yes, it is slippery. More slippery than the other coatings. So I have to be careful about that. <laughs> I came over here so you could see the drastic difference from the beginning of the video to now with this entryway and just from like where Turbo's ball hit the ground. You can see the dirt over there. So those are things I'm going to have to get used to and hopefully it improves because that's uh, it's going to drive me crazy. Look, look at there's a little paw print right there. Come on. Now they said it'll darken up and it'll get better, but remember what this looked like before. There's just mess everywhere. Bags of salt and stuff all over the place need to be cleaned up. And now got the path nice and open over here. Yeah, I got the irrigation lines and things that I have to redo and lots of stuff will be changing out here over time. But considering I think this is a very impressive and drastic improvement over how things were before. I don't know if I'm going to put the table back over here. Probably will put the table back over here just for right now because we're not supposed to be dragging and moving things around on this for like I think it's said several days so up to two weeks. But I was thinking maybe the table might end up going over there and might put a big seating something over here. These are all things we can talk about later. For right now I really just need to bask in the glory of how nice and clean and fresh everything is and that i don't really have to do any yard work for a few days and it's been a while since that's been the case oh toby's going swimming it's toby's first swim of the year okay hey 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 don't 
Like, Turbo's excited about it. Turbo gets excited when Toby gets in the pool, if you can't tell. Okay, hey, hey, Turbo, Turbo, he's an old man. You can't play with him like that, chill. Oh, that was nice, Toby, wouldn't it? See, look, look, you see that? Everything, every little spot shows. If it doesn't darken up some in the next couple of weeks like they said it will, I will probably have to calm back out here and have him throw something down a couple shades darker because that's just... That's not gonna work for me. This is perfectly clean when I started this portion of the after and there's already just dark spots in mud everywhere. And they haven't even played that hard. They haven't done that much and I haven't even done any work out here. When I get going with planters and everything, game over. This is just gonna be filthy out here. Hopefully everything will hose off really, really easily. I don't know, time will tell. I like how it looks, that's all that matters. Got a lot of work done out here. Things are looking good. I would like to put things back together for this video, but again, I need to wait several days and there's supposed to be rain and I gotta get things filmed for later on in the week and other stuff going on, have family coming in town. So I think it's best to just leave everything where it is for right now, except for maybe the table over there. I'm probably gonna get that moved back over here since there's some place to set. Allow the epoxy coating to fully set and harden before taking any risks. I'm gonna be putting down cardboard and tarps and all kinds of things when I move the pottery around on here so I don't scratch it up. It really does look bigger, doesn't it? And that wasn't something I was concerned with at any point that wasn't occurring to me to try and make things look bigger other than when things look clean and you have nice lines and things aren't cluttered up you don't have garbage everywhere that's going to make things look more appealing but as far as just the patio needing to look bigger that wasn't something that was on my radar 250 person capacity out here it's a pretty big patio the size was never a concern and it's going to look smaller once i get the table put back and the whatever that thing is that i thought about throwing away what would we call that the cabinet thing you know furniture there's still furniture to get put back out here. The four pots that need to go around the pool, the glider, which I finally ordered some new cushions for that glider. It took me, <laughs> what, eight months to find some that I liked for a price that I thought was reasonable. Those should be here next week. They're a little bit too big, but that thing's an awkward. We'll talk about it when those come in. I'm even debating not even putting the bamboo planters back on the patio. They've traditionally always been right in front of those pots right there, which I'm going to get rid of all that. Not necessarily get rid of the pottery, but I'm going to find a way to reorganize the pottery and find a spot probably in the garage to keep any pots that are under like 20 inches, find a way to stack them up with cardboard, all that stuff. Get that ditch cord out and maybe keep the bamboo back there against the wall so it would keep the patio open. I never wanted to do that before because, well, this is all for drainage and those pots block up the drainage, but the stuff that's here has been blocking up the drainage too. It's not easy cleaning out around all those pots, as you can see, right? Got leaves and all kinds of debris that's cluttered up around there. I figure it's probably easier to clean up around a few pots that'd be sitting there than the giant mess of pottery that's sitting over there right now. It would just probably look nicer, too. Maybe. I don't These are all... It's just thinking out loud here. I may not do that. There are a lot of reasons not to do that. One being lighting, too. The further back those go, the less light those containers are going to get because, you know, there's a big pine tree right above everything so I probably shouldn't scoot them back towards the wall but I'm really liking having the lines opened up around the pool so this is going to definitely have an influence on how I do things out here this year there will probably be some changes as far as moving all the plants out all the plants that are in the garage all the tropicals as to where they go there's going to be a period of time where they have to be on the patio or i have to have them in certain shaded areas clustered up underneath trees while they're getting used to the light but ultimately where i put things i really want to try and work as many of them into the landscaping as possible as opposed to having pottery all over the place with the plants and that's something i've talked about over the years i love my tropicals i love my house plants but i do not like the cluttered look of pottery all over the place with all the different plants. I, I always want everything to look like it has a spot it, it was intended for and there aren't just plants set all over the place in the long run. I mean, I have a gardening channel here, so there's always going to be areas where there are plants just sitting around things waiting to be planted, projects going on. But last year I got pretty good about consolidating all of that and working it into special areas so it didn't look as messy. And uh, I think that the big cleanup that was done out here this year that should just get easier right i think time will tell who knows what will actually happen again it's only march april when you guys are seeing this video in just a month from now 
I will probably have most of the tropicals, not all of them, but a lot of the tropicals moved out from the garage, depending on the weather. And then, uh, what, six weeks-ish, the big palm trees will probably be here. Things will be looking drastically different. I mean, look, there aren't even leaves on the oak yet. Or the maple. It's really throwing me off. Like I said, it, to me, in my head, it feels like summer, but then I look at the trees and like, no, it's not summer. There's no shade. No shade out here yet. But now I'm moving off into things that we don't even need to be talking about. Hey, thanks for hanging out. I could keep going. There's clearly a lot more work to be done and I will address all those things when it's time to do them. For right now, I'm supposed to just be leaving this space alone as much as possible. So that's what I'm going to do, as difficult as it is. The first thing I did when I got up this morning was I started moving the plants off of the steps here. And move, because they were all clustered up, you didn't know this. So I didn't even give you any background. The, all those tropicals were all like clustered up onto the steps because couldn't have anything on the patio. So I immediately started moving those around. But I still, I think, need to keep it minimized with how much stuff is actually on the pavement because I have to water. Things are very dry. It got up to, I think, 80 yesterday and uh, it hasn't rained. They're saying it might rain today. I hope it does because I can't drag the hose across the patio. So I'm just, fingers crossed, we get enough rain to get things looking happy again. And I need to go hose shopping and maybe rug shopping. Rugs might be a good idea. Maybe a big rug to go underneath the table. I, I mean, I can think of a lot of reasons not to do that too. It's going to interfere with the lines and the drainage, and then I'm just going to have a rug that gets dirty. I can figure all that out as we go along. Obviously, tarps would be a good idea when it comes to repotting. Thing. I said I was going to go. Okay, thanks for hanging out. Long video. I know. Hopefully, it was worth the wait getting to see things this clean and open on my channel. That's a pretty rare thing. It's probably not going to happen again, at least not for another, I don't know five to seven years. I think I said how often you need to reseal this stuff. That's no, I'm not thrilled about that, but just miss it. A beautiful, really big female cardinal just went flying right across the patio with a dried up sprig of palm frond hanging from her feet. I don't really know how, what would I call that. It looked like twine, but it wasn't. It was just, you know, a, a penne, a piece of palm frond. That's the best way I can describe it. It's a long string hanging from her foot and she went up over there. So that's one, two, Three, three, I think, at least Cardinal's Nest being built out here this year. That's fun. It's one more than last year. I got hit in the head by a bird this morning. How did I not talk about that? I walked out the door the second I stepped out the door, thud. Right against my head, there's some house finches that nest up in those metal fish every year, and they're building their nests. I don't think it was an aggression thing at all. They're never aggressive. They're a pretty peaceful finch. It's just wrong place, wrong time for my head and the bird. <sighs> nature it happens i hope everybody's doing well comment down below say hi how's everybody doing hope things are going beautifully for you five minutes of swimming he's done what's going on in your gardens fun exciting projects spring is here all kinds of stuff to do or just say hi i love talking to everybody hopefully y'all found the cleaning and the before and after to be satisfying i know i sure as heck did so fresh and so clean all right as always and most importantly everybody keep on growing bye bye